There we are. I think mm -hmm. we're on. Hey guys. All right. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, and thank you for joining us at our or on our YouTube live. Yep. Every Wednesday, 3 p.m. now instead of five. If you didn't know. Yeah, we um, we're trying out. We've been running these on Wednesdays for about two months now, and yeah. you know we're open to changing the day. Um, depending on what our audience needs and you know yeah. what works for everybody so yeah. if this is ever if you're watching this later or or even right now and you're like I'm not sure if Wednesday I'm not gonna be able to make these but I want to be here let us know if there's a better day or time yeah because we're open to suggestions on yeah. that we'll make it work so if you don't know I'm Sean this is Allison we are Spoken Garden and we're here to help you become better gardeners especially if you're a new gardener or you just want to learn more that's why we have a lot of our YouTube videos and our dailies that go on but also we do the dailies because we want to help you and it helps us through this time this is a weird time to be alive on planet earth <laughs> and we're just we're trying to all do our part and this is how we can we can help each other so yeah it's so crazy <clears throat> to think that we started this in march you guys our youtube channel <laughs> launched in march and now we're on this is today this live is number 245 245 wow I mean, that's a lot. I still can't believe it's almost November or December actually. Every, every week, day though, every it's day. It's like every day we have run a video, yep. and it, I mean, my gosh, we have learned so much along the way. So, oh, yeah. if you watch some of our earlier videos, hopefully the later, the ones that you're watching now are a little better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully we've been better a equipment. Bit. We so, are still working. It's but, always a work in progress, yeah. right? But it's been great to be here with you every day to just do different things around our garden. And we want to take the opportunity on this live daily to really connect with you and, and come at you live with different things that you might not have probably thought about or done before. And so that's, again, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Yep. Okay. So, um, so let's see. We've so, got a couple announcements to start with just because well, this is how we usually but today, oh, I'm jumping the gun. It's okay. But, but today um, we're going to talk about garden gratitude. Oh, right. What we're grateful for about our garden and everything that's gone on this year so far, what other people mm -hmm. are grateful for because we've run a challenge uh, on Instagram this whole month and it's still continuing. It's still going on. Yep. yep. So we're going to share what other gardeners and other people in the gardening world are thankful for and grateful for. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what we're going to uh, go over today. That's what we're going to talk about. But before that, we've got announcements. And okay, so <clears throat> if you're watching Real Jingy, Real Jingy, let us know. You need to email us back buddy. because you won the pruners that you we won, gave away buddy. last week. It's so cool. Yeah. So we're super excited to get these Corona pruners in your hands. Yep, yep. Um, we need to contact you though so we can get these sent out. So or, or we've emailed you, and we need your contact information. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, so just get back to us yeah. when you can, and we'll get those. We'll pop those in the mail. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, exciting. Well, that's fun. So mm -hmm. we're, you know, we are thinking like we'd love to give away some more things yeah. on these lives, some more products and tools and things. So definitely come back and check that out and we'll try to let you know in advance if we're going to be having some kind of tool giveaway. Yeah, uh, check the, uh, the posts on uh, YouTube. There's a post section and we'll, maybe that's what we'll do. We can that's actually put that on there and then you'll get an alert about it. Um, and then you can look at that and interact with us, talk more about it, and get more details before we launch it. Yeah, too. that's an awesome so, idea. Okay, so, cool. Um, okay. Other announcements. Other Can announcements. Talk about the webinar? We have Yay. a webinar coming up December 10th is when it's launching. It's going to be a hybrid of a live and uh, pre-recorded webinar on winter pruning do's and don'ts. So we're really excited to show this to you guys. Um, yeah, December 10th, 4 p.m. You can go to... Oh. Allison's going to pop I'll, this in yeah. to the chat, but you can go to SpokenGarden.com forward slash winter pruning webinar, all one word, and you can reserve your spot for that webinar because the reason we're telling you to reserve your spot is this isn't going to be a public video. We're not going to stream it live for the public. It's going to be a private video and the only way to get that video link um, to be a part of the webinar and watch it um, is to reserve your spot through that web page and we'll send you the link through uh, email otherwise you won't be able to see it at that time that's great info like we're so. still kind of planning it and getting it all ready and this will be our first webinar actual first like mm -hmm. recorded and live webinar so we're yeah. pretty excited about it really and excited 
Sean, this he knows so much about pruning, you guys. He can really teach you and help you. I know he's taught me so many things over the years that I never even thought were possible or, or knew about. So I really think that you'll benefit from his knowledge. And you might be wondering why part of it's pre-recorded, and that just kind of makes the most sense for what we want to show you. Yep. So we were kind of thinking, we're like, how are we going to carry all our camera gear around the yard? Yeah, how can, how can we do that? Like, we want to, but yeah. it's just, we don't, yeah, that's we're, not going to work. We're limited with some of our tech, and so we don't want you to go through trying to learn something <laughs> that we have an issue with, with limitations. So we're going to take that limitation out of the equation, bring what we can to you pre-recorded so you can really get in and see the details yeah. and the meat of what we want to present to you about winter pruning do's and don'ts. And so we'll run it as starting as a live, and uh, we'll have uh, the introduction stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll, from that live, we'll start the pre-recorded video, and then you can watch that along with us, and we'll be in the chat uh, talking oh, with totally. you and yeah. responding to any of your questions and stuff. And then at the end of the pre-recorded video, we'll be live again to talk to you some more. Yeah, so. that'll be cool. So, so that's a real, you can tell we're kind of excited. So <laughs> we need to move on. But move first, on. Um, we want to say hi to Real Genie, who yep. is in the audience. He just hey, checked buddy. in in the chat. Yay! And Woo. welcome to Allison McCoy. And you have the best name ever, by the way, <laughs> and the most perfect spelling. So that had to be mentioned. Two L's, I'm guessing. <laughs> Two L's. Two L's. Because that's, that's the way to spell. That, that's Allison. just the way it is. You that's just, right. One L. There's a correct way to spell Allison. There's also a correct way to spell Sean. Which you just guys, you know. if you, I don't know if you're familiar with the way he spells his name, S E A N, which um, always gets mispronounced, oh, yeah. actually. Oh, yeah. Even our Alexa calls him Seen. So it's always Seen and Allison yeah. instead I'm, of Sean. Yeah, but the running it's joke hilarious. in our household is I'm seen, but I'm not heard. So if I want to get his attention, I yell seen because. <laughs> Usually he's like, what? What? It's hilarious. Okay. Uh, anyway. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. So, <laughs> gratitude. Um, gratitude. We have so enjoyed running this photo challenge. And we, we were kind of hit or miss because this month got really busy. So, yep. the bulk of a lot of these posts that we were able to see on Instagram um, have been really from the last week. Yep. But we are running this photo challenge all month. And it's just... It's just for fun. It's just to get some, just share with the gardening community on Instagram. Um, we presented that on Instagram that we were gonna share mm -hmm. some of those posts today here. So we hope that if any of you are watching that um, you find some ins find some inspiration. Oh, totally. Because these are pretty fun. Yeah, and it's great to reflect too on this whole year. I know. It's been crazy. It's been a weird, wacky it's been year. A crazy and year, yeah. Especially if, uh, well, I think a lot of people are in lockdown. We're in lockdown right now. Our whole state. Our state kind of just lockdown. locked down again. So yeah. um, it's nice when you're in lockdown to look at everything that's gone on this year and look at all the positive things, especially in your garden that have happened. And to remember how you felt, you know, what you accomplished, uh, how you move forward in things. I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of getting goosebumps just talking about it because it's such a good feeling. And that was part of why we ran this. Uh, we wanted to run this uh, this challenge on Instagram for garden gratitude because we want we want people to feel good about yeah. what they're doing and especially in the garden I mean otherwise why would we do it right I mean nobody wants to just do chores all day you want to enjoy what you do so to have that gratitude yeah. and be thankful and grateful for what you have and what you're doing is amazing and it just feels so, good yep. right it just feels good to just like I yep. think you kind of just said this but just to reflect you know and yeah. Just be yep. grateful for everything that you've accomplished around your, your home, your garden, you know, and, yep. and really taking stock of like, what did I do this year or even last year or three years ago yeah. and that you're seeing now, yep. you know, different plants that you added to your landscape and just how amazing they look now, you mm -hmm. know, and. So I can't remember, what's that hashtag before we go oh, on? Yeah, if people yeah. want to check it out right now. Yeah, while totally. So for Instagram, um, it is in the chat actually, but oh, good. Um, good. No, hashtag November <clears throat> garden gratitude. I almost forgot it. November Garden Gratitude. <laughs> so forgot. it's, um, again, it's just really got going this week. So that's been yeah. a lot of fun to see. Um, you can check out that hashtag and check all the posts that have been added to that. Oh, so we would love so for great. you to share a photo and use the hashtag so we can see it too. Yep. It's been amazing, guys. Anybody, anybody and everybody that's participated so far, thank you. And it's been awesome to see everything that you've posted. I know. Totally appreciate it. And yep. we are so excited to highlight that in just a couple minutes. Oh, but yeah. we want to warn you guys, this is there are going to be a lot of slides coming your way. So once a, in a while, our lives have, um, the only way we can really present information is more like a kind of a slideshow. Yeah, it's kind of a presentation, yeah. but I mean, we're inside, we've got all this tech, 
we can't take most of this outside most of the time to really get into that stuff. We're kind of stationary with our tech. So that's again why this works so yeah. well on our end. Hopefully it's entertaining totally. enough I know, that's and what it's I was fun. Thinking. So let's get started. So right. we're going to talk about um, all the things that Sean and I, uh, honestly, we had to narrow it down to three. We only huh. gave each other That's three <laughs> re, like three uh, reasons to be grateful in our garden, we three only, things only, we're grateful for. We could for. only pick three. Because, I mean, we could go on for hours oh. and hours, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, it could just totally. take days. We so go. um, cool. we're going to kind of take turns and just show you a picture. It's more of a collage of things from our yard and just the reasons why we're grateful. Um, we encourage you to drop any comments or questions in the yeah. chat. Totally. Um, any stories you want to share, drop those in the chat because we'd love to say, share those out loud as yep, well. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so, what is so, first? So first up. Uh, Sean's in charge of the we don't wanna, slideshow here. So we haven't, wait, that one not first right there. Right? Okay. Not, any, not, not that one. Do you want to do yours first, right? Okay. Perfect. Okay, first up. Okay, here sorry. we go. First up this for is, Oh, Allison. this is one of mine. <clears throat> okay, so you guys, one thing that I am so grateful for this year, and I mean, this is actually going back to last year as well, mm -hmm. we turned our front yard into to an entire front yard garden. So <coughs> what you see on the bottom in the middle photo there, you'll see a before and after of mm -hmm. what it used to look like with all the grass up top and what we have now. Mm -hmm. This year, we really expanded and grew a whole bunch of beautiful cut flowers and just, of course, like we need more growing space, right? Mm -hmm. We we like grew, we outgrew the area we already oh, created. Yeah. Oh yeah, because in these pictures right here, the after that was last, that was the summer before. That was last. That right. wasn't this past summer. That was the summer before where we had all the squash and pumpkin and I mean, it literally by the end of the summer, you guys, you couldn't see the gravel or any of the block or any of the anything. You couldn't see anything at all. It was just all just vines of different cucumbers and stuff so it was it was really cool it was really cool but we couldn't really <clears throat> walk around so we kind of made a mistake and learned our lesson and instead of doing squashes different things we moved those to a different part of our garden and we just filled it with flowers <clears throat> so we will be doing that again next year for sure totally yeah what well, that was a fun project yeah so anyway you guys that is something i'm super grateful for because I don't know, anytime you can just eliminate um, a space that takes up so many resources and so yeah. much, you know, water and it was just our lawn was kind of ugly. Yeah. We didn't really use it. And we were like, no. oh, my gosh, why don't we add a whole like take this out and yep. Yep. we didn't have to redo put down, it. Yeah. I mean, we, we were putting down a ton of water, yeah. a lot of uh, soil and compost to reinvigorate the soil and the uh, and the grass and we were putting down moss killer because it's really shaded it's, out there yeah it was i just mean it's kind of, shaded it was just ugly so anyway. just a lot just of inputs a it. lot of different things that you really we don't want to put down a lot of the time so we just converted the whole thing over and now it's awesome like never been happier either yeah. it's like one of our favorite parts of our whole yard and it's less maintenance it's so much less maintenance. <laughs> like that part it's so much less. and you know what's cool is like kind of an added benefit since we filled it with gravel like rock you know kind of all over it's really, the whole area just heats up and it just retains oh, the heat yeah. even longer. So oh, yeah. we feel like things actually are just growing even better, you mm -hmm. know, because we have just like this extra layer of like. Mm -hmm. That residual. Yeah, residual the, heat. The residual heat overnight just makes the plants just explode. That's pretty cool. So. All right, let's get so to the next, next one. Next up. I don't know what's up. Go. He's surprising me here. So this is Allison's second thing she's grateful for. Okay. Let, oh, yes, yes, <clears> yes. <throat> I will wait till you guys can see this on the screen. But um, oh. one giant project that we tackled this year was adding a greenhouse. And it's not a huge greenhouse. You know, it's not a big, like, glass enclosed greenhouse. It's just this great little cold frame mm -hmm. covered with some, poly, what's that, poly sheeting Poly stuff. Um, six, six mil polyethylene and yeah. the greenhouse size is six feet six feet wide by eight feet long it's like perfect i mean of course we could use a bigger one someday oh, but yeah. i mean look how happy sean is watering <laughs> um we have been able to just grow like a ton of new seeds and just um in fact if you guys um tomorrow's video we're going to be showing you how and i know it's thanksgiving but we're going to be showing how we are going to winterize it and get it ready for holding over all the seedlings or all the cuttings that we've grown oh, this yeah. year yep, yep. and everything that all the potted plants that we don't want to leave outside over the winter. So we've got some supplies and some things ready. We're going to set it up and show you what, how we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be fun. So that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. And this is our first, I don't know if you said this, but this will be our first winter with this greenhouse. Oh, right. And so... Um, here in our climate, in Zone 8B, 
we have to we have to do some supplemental heating for things because it does get really cold here. I mean, it goes below freezing a lot of times in the winter, and so it, especially at night. And then so there's a freeze thaw, freeze thaw. Well, you can imagine that um, without that heat, the plant roots and the plants themselves. Um, that freeze thaw, freeze thaw is, is not good for their cell structure and yeah, it ruptures cells and it just makes a mess and kills plants. So that, anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I don't want that and we're gonna we're, you're gonna find out more about that tomorrow. I know we so, have to. Sorry. That'll be fun to set up. I know Sean's starting to nerd out for a minute here, but we're excited. We're so excited though. We love mm -hmm. this. This greenhouse has been really awesome, and it's so easy for anybody to do. Even if you don't have the space, there's like ways that you can make little tiny greenhouses and just kind oh, of yeah. cover them or even yep. put saran wrap over them and yep. make a little humidity dome and yep there's in-ground greenhouses yeah. or little cold frames or cloches and they're they're fun there's so, so many different things i know it. um i believe i think it's i don't know if i told you about this but hmm. i think nikki jabor has a book coming out all about different types of cold frames. oh cool we that, need to look at I that i saw that That's awesome. so and she's awesome so um, okay, so moving okay. on. Grateful. So this is that was number two for me. So number three. Number three is. Um, <laughs> oh, this is kind of corny, but I am so super grateful for the fact that um, I don't know if you guys are aware. We don't really talk about it that much, but we will be soon. Um, we have a book coming out, and it's our first published book um, by Cool Springs Press, and it will be. It's gonna, going to be released on February 9th, yep. twenty twenty one. Yep, yep. So we're like ecstatic. I mean, it doesn't show probably yet, but no. we're still in kind of disbelief that we wrote a book this yeah. year. Yep, yep. We wrote a book. We wrote a book. I mean, we literally wrote a book. <laughs> um, and I feel extremely humbled that I was able to take all the photography for the yep. book. Yep, it was our first professional first gig. first professional gig. Really and cool. I mean, I'm still a learner. Um, Oh no! By don't all let her, means, like don't I've let been her taking. You. She well, she's got she's real professional. She gets everything staged. Well, I've, and the I learned a lot. I think, and that's something awesome. that uh, these pictures represent. These are actually shh, don't tell the publisher. These are five photos from the actual book. Uh oh. So these are from different chapters, and I'm not even going to tell you which ones because I'm not sure I remember all of them yet. But um, that's me taking a photo. Um, and I love taking pictures. So if any of you out there are photographers as well, I'd love to hear from you. It's something I've been interested in and passionate about for the past few years. And randomly it started in the backyard. I started taking pictures of wildlife because oh, yeah. I just thought it was so cool to watch them move around. And mm -hmm. so anyway. Well, and so is this, is this a good point to talk about uh, the side story with the camera or? Oh my gosh, you guys. I. <laughs> you know, if you've ever started a big project or been like in the midst of a giant project, you have due dates. Big due dates. Big, big due dates. Deadlines. Okay, so like obviously. Like people are counting yeah. on you on that deadline and your equipment gets broken. Well, it doesn't get broken. Well. You break it. <laughs> I accidentally literally knocked over my entire tripod with my camera on it onto the ground right in the middle of a photo shoot and this was about a week out no well it was a thursday this was three days before all the photos were yeah. due in yeah. like their inbox yeah Mon it was due monday ish the next week and the camera got broke on a thursday so or you so. remember the days better I, it was kind of a blur but well, i know it was very like it was a big scramble yeah <laughs> it was we had an, to find a new camera it was a mess <laughs> So um, the good people at Best Buy, yes. we ran there because we couldn't think of where else to go and we ended up getting sorted out. They actually helped us and I got a way better camera out of the whole deal. So but, yeah. long story short, don't break your equipment in the middle of a photo shoot. Well, it's, yeah, and it's something to be grateful for. I'm so grateful <laughs> for so <laughs> many reasons. Um, I also learned that make sure your tripod legs are all the same length before you turn around because that's how it fell over. I had one yeah. off center. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's coming up in February. Yes, yes. We oh. are just, in fact, we could probably pop oh, yeah. that slide. Totes. We have a joint gratitude really quick. Um, and this is just like, sorry, we're talking your ear off about the book, go. but this is our book. This is our book. And it's called Growing Plants and Flowers, the first time gardener series. Yep, yep. Um, it's going to be released jointly with a, a second book about growing vegetables yes and that's by roots and refuge which are a huge amazing account jessica and, and her husband all yes yep, yep. and so they're writing the kind of the complimentary book for vegetables we're writing the plants or we wrote plants and flowers it's part of the series there probably will be some giveaways at some point so oh yeah keep your eye out for those yep, yep. but um and on the right there you see the that's the back cover of the book which we recently just got to see for the first time I so know. yeah 
Any other thoughts? The book Gratitude um, continues. We could do a whole episode on how grateful we are yeah. that Cool Springs Press asked us to write this book because yeah. it was and, uh, so much fun. And uh, thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica Wallace. Steve and John and um, everybody over there. Everybody. Okay. Okay, moving okay. on. We will not uh, bore you with that for now. For now. For tonight. Um, I'm loving the chat, you guys. Thank you for... Um, oh, what's, what's going on? We I have Real Jingy and uh, Allison I, had to change over to Puget Sound Garden Life, and she just signed up for the webinar. Oh, so yay. All right, we're Allison. super excited. And yeah, totally. She's commenting right now. Roots and Refuge are huge, right? Yeah. They do amazing totally. stuff, and they're so fun to watch their vlog, and it just... Mm -hmm. She's so natural, <laughs> and I love watching all her animals. All oh, the animals That's are my great. favorite thing. Yeah, when she takes walks around their farm. I know, I it's love, really and the dogs are running around. I, <laughs> we get a big kick out of them, so <laughs> we're really excited. We're hoping... We haven't actually been able to connect with them yet, but we're hoping to meet them soon and, like, yeah, be fun. kind of It'd be good. coordinate, you know, a little bit, so it's that's kind of cool. Totally. It's like huge account, and then us with our budding little. Uh, we're, we're still in the starting. We're still phase. in the starting phase. Yeah. So, but. anyway, let's get to Sean's gratitude. Oh, okay. There's nothing else going on in the chat. Oh, all kinds that. of fun things. Oh, okay, going good. On, but good, yeah, good. Well, let's go we'll ahead have to catch up on that. In a yeah, minute. we're really thankful that you guys are here today. Yeah, you guys. It's a lot this of fun. fun. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So oh the first gosh. thing I'm grateful for is being able to do all the cuttings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see here we've got some some different pictures in this in this slide. Um, it looks like there might be some, uh, yeah, those are in the upper left-hand corner. Those are the salvia, um, and those are the hot lip salvia, and those were so much oh, fun. Those are cool. Just yeah. below that, in the lower left-hand corner, that's the rosemary, and boy, that was fun. Um, to Just to be able to make new plants, apply some of the things that I've learned over my life, and be able to share that with you guys, and to be able to share it also with Allison. Oh, that was so and, cool. And just do it. It's just fun to do it. You know, and I'm wondering, like, sorry, I'm cutting you off because I got excited. How many cuttings did we take this year? Like, I mean, like <laughs> a diff of the plants we took. I can't even remember how many plants we took cuttings of. Does oh my that make gosh. Sense? Yeah, like, it's, it's over like seven uh, different like plants. And more than that. Yeah, well, it's definitely, yeah, more than that. But it's, um, and then each plant we did at least five or six. No, we, we did at we least did. eight or nine yeah. cuttings of each plant in the different treatments. So, yeah. And, you know, so. you don't, I mean, not all of the cuttings made it no. to certain, you know, for whatever um, reasons, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I'm just so grateful to be able to share this with Allison and you guys and just to have fun and to go through and uh, just kind of relive some of my past experiences and then make new memories and, and do all this. That was so much fun. I'm so grateful for this. You know, and really, I mean, we have so many more cuttings on the list. <laughs> We, I was just telling Sean the other day, we were looking at all our, our cuttings and we were like, mm -hmm. wow, we have like so many new plants to add to our landscape. Yeah. We're not even sure where they're all yeah, going to go. There's, we're running out of room. We're, we we'll really find are. room. We we'll, can't. we'll find room. We're running out of room. But um, we, uh, <laughs> I mean, I can just think of so many more plants I want to take cuttings of. I know, a lot too. of it's the excitement me and the too. experiment of it, right? Oh, just yeah, to, like, totally. Just to see learn. if we can do it, right? Yeah. And, and to make new plants from pieces of other plants just and to graft oh we need to or, try grafting or that layering was, yeah that right there so much fun we I tried can't wait to do layering that. with the azalea no the roadie that we pulled up and it didn't make it didn't so make it. that was it, kind of a bummer yeah it was it was in too sunny of a spot I'm try that roots again on the layered part yeah it was just it wasn't a good setup but I know. we tried and that's the main part right there we want to encourage you to keep trying so, and yeah, okay. totally. Um, before we go to your next slide, um, okay. Allison, yes, um, we did make a video on the salvia cuttings, and oh, we did yeah, like yeah. kind of a before and after. So I think we have two videos. I, oh, did we do an update? We did an update. We did a take taking the cuttings, and then we might have done an update. We did an update because oh, we got we, a lot of them to root. So know, if we can help out somehow, please let us know. Did we transplant them? Did we show I us transplant? I think we have. You guys, we have not transplanted them. Oh, yet. okay. We no, have no, like. Mind. Mind, wrapped around roots in our i remember our water jar is oh, just like oh yeah full they're still out there we gotta we've we gotta got plant to those. plant those but yeah oh, that'll be a third video coming up soon <laughs> but good question so, Allison. great question yeah we we would love to help um, oh yeah um okay grateful number two Ooh, for me so seed collecting this is so cool mm. i mean it, it, it's hard to slow down i don't know if you guys have thought about this or run into this lately in your lives but you know, with pandemic and quarantine and lockdown, it makes us think about things in a completely different way. And for me to be able to slow down during these, you know, fast days of creating video and 
doing work around the house and getting groceries and staying safe and all the all the anxiety out there to slow down and to just be able to concentrate on collecting seeds the the whole process of collecting seeds and actually doing it i mean you, you can't you can't do this and have your mind go off in another direction because you have to pay attention to really what you're doing and to be able to do this i'm so grateful to be able to do this and to slow down but also it reminds me of my graduate school days and all the different things i did when i was doing the cut flower research and my breeding um, experience mm -hmm. for uh, where i wanted to go before but didn't do it but whatever so but just grateful to be able to collect all these different seeds i mean we've got crocosmia seeds in the upper left hand corner um i think those were coneflower okay or okay we got coneflower i think you're right i think they're coneflower seeds they look different than zinnia so we got coneflower seeds in the upper right and then um it looks like we've got uh, is that the liadris i think that's crocosmia is again. that more crocosmia that a, oh yeah. that was yeah that was a little bit okay in the lower left hand corner and then yeah all these different zinnias in the I lower know. right hand corner that was so much fun and i'm so grateful so for that experience fun. you know in fact so we need to and we took more than this we did cosmo seeds um mm -hmm. We need to pop those in the mail because we are sending oh. those to New, New Jersey garden teacher, yes, yes. Sonia Harris over yeah. in um, New it, Jersey. Was it the cupcake ones? We were going to send her cupcake, co seashell? cupcake white Cosmo. Well, we're going to send her a little surprise. Candy cane? Maybe some candy. candy or no, cane. candy um, strike. Candy strike. I know. Okay. Who can remember all the names? But yeah, we need to send those out. Yeah, that was cool. That was so grateful that for that. Gr I'm grateful for that too. That was a that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, it really, it, it helped us just in so many different ways and then also you guys i mean really for me i'm just grateful again to be able to share all these things with you guys and then also for allison and i to be able to uh, to just tackle so many different things we did so much out in our yeah. garden and i'm sure you guys did too. i know can't wait I mean, to hear more to, to be able to to build that trellis out of just scrap wood from our yard and that's that picture up in the upper right hand corner and then and that was later in the spring early in the spring like mid-march allison and i planted all the um the falstracinas and the grasses so and the fun hydrangeas. to see how tiny they I are mean, yeah. they're like huge now yeah they're ginormous yeah. yeah and then also the cuttings right below our picture there and we, we were able to try out some new seeds that center picture there's bor i'm holding borage and allison has all these different black-eyed mm. susans that un until this year we had no idea there was so many different black-eyed susans even even that vine which was um, super yes. cool that was really cool yep. i know and then also um to be able to be a part of uh trialing uh different plants in our um in our garden from proven winners and also uh, all america selections i mean big shout out to proven winners Huge. and aas for trusting us to trial those those plants for oh, them. Oh, that was so much fun. I mean, just all of it, amazing stuff throughout this year. Super cool. We, yeah, and uh, you know, like, like Sean just said, we can't wait. We wanna hear some of your stories. What are some things that you're so mm -hmm. grateful for? Because I think really? that concludes both of our, yeah, that's both of our lists that I we mean, allowed. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise we, 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 we had to keep it short because we have other things we want to talk we could about. We go with on you guys. and on, but we don't want to so. bore you with all. We have a lot of really fun um, yep. Instagram slides to share in just a second, so oh, yeah. can't wait to get to those. And totally. yeah, but go ahead and um, post your photos to using um, hashtag November Garden Gratitude mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, send a story out here on the or, chat or, or in the. Yeah, the comment. Comments, yeah, comment down below. Later. If, if you can't do IG right now, or it's just not something you're not going to yeah. be able to get to, comment down below and let us know. Or in the chat, like Allison said. But just let us know what are you grateful for. It's so cool to be it's able to so cool. to tell each other about these things and, sh and share these stories. So I love it. So yeah. without further ado, let's get into some really fun. Um, oh. We want to share. You know, we've been talking about this um, little photo challenge on Instagram. So oh. let's get some oh. of these slides up because this is fun. Okay. Okay, we'll do this so one. So we're okay. gonna start with this one, and this is just kind of like an intro of, you know, the, there's the hashtag. We had a lot of people comment just on different photos and mm -hmm. leave their, you know, their stories, or we asked, what are you most grateful for? Is it a certain plant, a certain flower? So you can see um, some pretty big accounts here that yeah. that were able to, Learn to comment, grow. which was really cool. So this is basically, basically us shouting out to Learn to Grow, Making Sense, New Hampshire, AgroChic, 
Perla. Perla yeah. And uh, Garden of Sessions. Oh, we love them. They have a yep. great YouTube account. So does Learn to Grow. Yep. Those are, and I think Perla Agrochik. She yeah, has she's, a, she's got a great she account. Has she a does a great lot account of, too. She does a lot of uh, horticultural therapy interviews oh, that's with cool. experts. That's true. And yeah, if you're interested in that, check out her channel and all of her uh, social media tags. All yeah, of her agro chic. She's, she's everywhere and she's awesome. I love that Learn to Grow right up top just said, what are you grateful for? So many plants. Totally. And her and I went back and forth like, how can you pick just one? <laughs> yeah, like, right. you can't. Oh, they're all so unique and so awesome. So uh, let's, okay, so we've got some, a couple slides to um, highlight here. And I got, or we got permission from all of these accounts to kind of post these and talk about so here's the first one. This is um, somebody we've known and actually met in person. She lives in Portland. Mm -hmm. Garden Rosies. She has a great Instagram account all mm -hmm. geared towards gardening with your children. And um, so she said she was definitely, she wrote in a few times, but so I combined both of her kind of ideas. But she's thankful for the beauty of these burning bush shrubs. I mean, look at those, you guys. Those Euonymus. are gorgeous. Yep, Euonymus alatus, the winged burning oh, bush. So we, we can grow those up here too. I want to grow those. Those are beautiful. gorgeous. Yep, yep. And she is so grateful and thankful to be able to have grown this amazing vegetable garden with her little gardener, Aww, teaching her daughter yeah. along the way and growing this awesome community around oh, her yeah. account of like-minded gardeners. That's so awesome. So it's so really amazing. cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. So that That's is powerful. one we definitely wanted to highlight. Yeah. So coming up next, this is, this is an awesome account too. Oh, yeah. I love this account. Um, he, he's called Depend on Planet Earth. Also or known as Dope. Dope. So he has awesome. a great logo that just says Dope. It's so cool. <laughs> so he was um, really fast to share that he's so thankful for this rosemary plant in this picture. And it was the it was actually the very first plant he ever bought when he oh, decided to start gardening. That is so Isn't cool. That cool. That is really cool. So it has like such a nice, just amazing memory to it. And then yep. all of the things that he's done and grown yep. since he bought that first plant. It's the start of his history, his his dope. Yeah, and he's Earth. selling awesome. oils now. He's been, oh, you, cool. you guys need to go check out his account. He's like, yeah. he, he sells, and I don't want to misspeak here, but oh. he's um, making and selling like cooking oils and stuff with oh, different herbs. Oh, like they're infused. Yeah, infused. Well, like rosemary, yeah. mint. He's doing some pretty that, cool Oh, that things. sounds awesome. So love definitely to look at check those. out his account. Yeah, we like to cook here, if you don't know. We do. Um, we like rosemary. You know, we don't cook with it that often, though, but it no, smells don't. so amazing. Yep, and we can we have some um, herb-infused salts that we like to use, Oh, too. yeah, we so, do. Anyway. That's right. Side note. Anyway. I kind of forgot about those. Moving on. So Garden Nouveau is such an awesome, oh, her account, she has beautiful pictures. Oh, look at um, all those pictures. This is so cool wow. because she is super grateful for the fact that, well, she said she was grateful for so many reasons. She had this amazing post today with this picture that listed all these different reasons, mm. but her community garden that she's a part of, and mm. I believe these are all photos from the community garden from over the, probably spring and summer. Wow, that's amazing summer. that they've been able to keep the community garden going. I know. Through the pandemic. That is tremendous. That is awesome. That's really cool. Wow. And just being a part of a community of like-minded people and yeah. positivity. And that just sounds really oh, amazing. That sounds great. Yeah, so, good for you guys. Yeah, wow. That's, that's awesome. Wow. Man. Okay. Sorry, I'm lagging behind. I'm not ready. Here we go. Okay. What's our next one? Next up. Oh yeah, this is a new, okay. So because of Depend on Planet Earth or Dope, he actually tagged a whole bunch of his friends and gardening accounts. And so we've connected with a lot of new gardeners on Instagram, so that's kind of cool. Hmm. So now this account, New Garden Road, he actually has a YouTube channel as well. And I believe he's out of Austin, Texas. Oh, cool. So um, he seems to do a lot of vegetables and all kinds of things around the yard. So he said he's really grateful for the citrus trees. Oh, that's you can see. so Isn't that cool. cool? That I mean, we can cannot grow those. grow those here. Yeah, we can't grow and that. And he's zone 8B too, I think. Really? Yeah, I think oh, so. Wow. But it's so different. The climate is so different. Yeah. So um, he has nurtured a lot of these trees for like years, like decade, over a decade or something, he said. And they've taught him, yeah. like, as you can see, like patience and just dedication and just mindful observation as he cared yep. for them. Yep, a lot of fruit trees. I don't know if you guys know this out there, but a lot of fruit trees take up to five to seven or longer years until they'll actually bear fruit. So, and they need all their needs met and the conditions have to be perfect. You know, they have to be really good for them to be able to produce fruit. So, I mean, talk about patience That's and dedication. So cool. 
That's crazy. And Good for cool him. how cool would it be to have your own citrus tree or oh. even an avocado? Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. That would be great. I'm so jealous of, ah. of like, Hawaii. They get to grow all that stuff, too. <laughs> Okay. But that's really cool. So we are so thankful for you um, for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Totally. And this is another new account. Um, this is Bullard Belinda. Mm -hmm. And um, she had a really touching story. It, again, a rosemary plant. Oh, yeah. And it's sad. Well, it's a nice memory, but it's also, you know, it's sad when you hear. But basically, um, it's a connection that she has with her mother-in-law, who is currently battling dementia. Oh, so rosemary used to be kind of a go-to herb, it sounds like, for her mother-in-law. Oh, it always wow. reminded her of that, and she bought this plant with that in mind. So she gets that sensory, uh, memory kind of connection. Yeah, it sounds like it. That'd be, that's, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? That's so thoughtful, too. So wow. we're really thankful you shared that, and we yeah. wish the best to you and your family. Yeah, totally. Nothing but the best. And then I think we have the one more. Oh, yes, okay. So Garden with Melina Lynn, and I just love this little shrub she, she <laughs> shared. It's a blue star juni juniper. Mm -hmm. I almost said that wrong. Mm -hmm. And she's so, um, she loves this plant. She uses it in the landscape, and I believe she designs, she does some design work now oh, cool. for other clients. And awesome. she likes, you know, this, this shrub adds so much color in the winter oh, landscape. Oh, yeah, it's so, so unique. I mean, that, that aqua blue or... I love I that. Mean, it's just, it's... It's so different from a lot of different evergreen shrubs out there. And junipers themselves are beautiful, but super easy plants to take care oh, of. Oh, they're so cute. They're low maintenance. That. Yeah, they're great. I so, really love cool. that plant. So wow. I think that concludes all oh. of the Instagram slides. There were more, and I'm sorry we weren't able to we weren't able to highlight everybody. But um, there's a lot more. There was a lot more. Yeah. So but, we're just thankful. Yeah, really thankful for everybody sharing those and letting us share those on here. Really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's interesting. If you guys can take a moment, either now or later, and just think of one thing that you're grateful for from your garden or in your garden. You know, look out your window. You can you know backyard, front yard, whatever. Look outside and think about what you're grateful for for your garden because that right there, just doing that, is so powerful. Uh, to us as just human beings mm -hmm. to be able to be grateful for something and it just it it digs into a different part of our mind and, and it helps us in so many different ways well and just to so, recognize that right yep. and just yeah just to make that declaration that wow I'm so grateful for yep. this because I mean a yep. lot of times you get busy right we get busy we take things for granted oh you know I've got mm -hmm. all this work to do in the garden but you yep. don't stop and think like I get to work in my garden today. Yeah, I have. I get to be outside and yep. get my hands in the dirt and be amongst nature and. There's people that don't. There's a lot of people that don't have that opportunity. So even to be grateful for that opportunity is tremendous. It's, it's so, amazing. It really is. It's just, it makes me yeah. want to go outside even though it's starting to get dark. I know, it's cold. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's really cold, cold too. too. <laughs> we have to share this story from the chat. So this is from Allison oh, McCoy who cool. has bounced over to a different um, account, Puget Sound Garden Life right now. Oh, okay. So she says she struggles with being grateful and I can completely relate mm -hmm. to this because you're always wanting more land to cultivate and she says she um, wants more land to raise animals. Oh, yeah, that'd be so fun. That is literally oh, our dream. That is the long-term plan. You guys don't even know. I want so many <laughs> animals running around. Ducks, chickens. Yeah, our ducks, chickens. Donkey. Um, I want donkeys. Yeah, we, we already we picked out a name for the donkey. We want two donkeys. <laughs> Isn't that the most random? I mean, what are they even like, like, they just running around? Like, I love them. Um, of course, lots of dogs. Goats. Um, we want goats. Goats. So I completely yeah. relate. I mean, we don't have them yet. Um, Sean and I have always ever had dogs. We don't have yeah. kids. So animals are kind of, we take care of like a thousand animals in our backyard. Yeah, the wildlife are <laughs> surrogate so animals many. right now, our surrogate pets. And our, so. um, we have a certified wildlife habitat, so we, we keep up on that. But mm -hmm. anyway, I'm so, sorry, I'm totally so, interrupting. Well, um, she yeah. is very thankful for and grateful just for the growing space that she has. Totally, that is, that is great. Wow, yeah. I know. Yeah, definitely really cool and i have to um oh she wants to know the donkey names i don't know <laughs> Do it really has to be a to secret because we're still like <laughs> deliberating on one it's of funny them. it's okay so sh should we i don't want to i don't want to give it away quickly. a clue how about a clue has to, uh sh a clue would be shrek the movie yeah it's kind of a corny name but, but it's not the same name as in the movie i don't even know if that'll help narrow it down it's, but... it's the actor's first name well okay 
So, um, and also, yeah, if you, um, speaking to Allison again, like the, that blue star juniper, she mm -hmm. really liked that. So yeah. that would be, and Sean said it's pretty easy to grow. I don't know much about junipers. Junipers are pretty easy to grow. They don't like things super wet, but, uh, cause they can get uh, fungus and uh, some different rots and stuff. But under the right conditions, if you meet all their conditions, they're super easy to maintain. Oh, that'd be, that's yeah. great. Super cool. easy to maintain. So see this gardening community we have, we just share ideas and it's awesome. Yep. Check your zones. Yeah, make definitely. sure it's hardy in your zone and you can meet all its needs. Yeah. So, yep, uh, sun, uh, water, and soil. Those three basics. Everything else pretty much will fall into place if you get those three. Um, so. I am going to drop a quick link in the chat here just for those of you that are watching now or later. Oh, cool. um, just to share our book because, oh, again, yeah, this is totally. just our, like, you know, yeah. we're still in disbelief. Yeah. We're thankful that um, some of you have signed up for the webinar, so that will oh, be yeah. really cool. Yeah, we can't um, wait to see you guys really there. We're excited. It's, it's a gonna free so webinar. Fun. It's going to be really fun. We've got, we've got you know, the do's and don'ts, but we also yeah. have um, kind of different ways to think about pruning your plants, not just in winter oh. too, but just different ways to think about what you're doing when you're pruning. So we, well, we won't say any more. I won't say any more. We have but, like a lot more coming your way as far as pruning material too. Oh, yeah. So stay oh, tuned. Yeah. Going into the new year, we've got some plans for January and February to kind of roll out some ideas. Yeah. Cause that seems to be an area that a lot of people really would like help and would like to, you know, just learn some new skills. Yeah. Or just learn so, a different way to think about pruning. Cause everybody has their preconceptions about things in general and true. especially about pruning. And so we can, we can definitely help with that and give you a different way to think about it. Yeah, so, I know it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. But I guess that pretty much concludes our garden gratitude yeah, episode I think so. for today. Yeah, we were um, able to share everything. It's been fun with you guys here. It's been really fun. This Th has been awesome. This has been actually kind of a different kind of live episode for us and for you. Um, I know we're used to doing more of a learning lab where teaching, we're either outside teaching yeah. how to do a skill or something. Yeah, and it's always different to be just sitting here inside. But you're, you're on camera. I'm on camera. <laughs> We're going to be doing this through the winter. I oh, think. yeah. So it's going to be fun. We'll come up with some good topics for December's because yep. this is the last one for November. So Oh, yeah, yeah. totally. We'll have a schedule up on um, the topics coming up soon for December, like oh, we said. Yeah. And um, have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Stay safe. Be careful. Um, yeah. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your time and yeah. enjoy your family. And yeah. we hope to see you soon. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, if not next week, in the live. We are grateful for you yep. for being so here and being a part of our community. Thank totally. you. Yep, totally. Thanks, guys. Okay. Have Bye, a great everybody. night.